Hey guys, what's going on? Zwen here. So today we're going to be talking about my personal opinions on Windwalkers in BFA. Mainly at 120, we're going to be taking a look at Azerite traits as well as a lot of the other stuff. There are a lot of pros, but there's also a few cons, and I'll be discussing that in this video. And the main reason why I'm re releasing this video is because I've been getting a lot, and I mean a lot of questions on my personal opinions on Windwalkers, and it's not that I'm getting tired of explaining it, it's just that I get done explaining it and then someone tunes into my stream and then asks the same exact question and I don't know. It's just easier to do this. So keep in mind that I also haven't slept in 30 hours and no fancy intro or music because for some reason if I want to use my camera and, and use it in an editing program and then render it with music, audio doesn't sync. But that doesn't matter. Let's get started. So BFA Windwalker Monks, you probably noticed a few things that are obviously different. Um, we're going to be discussing the changes and most of them are pros, believe it or not. There's a lot of pros to BFA Windwalkers. If you like Legion Windwalker PvE, you're going to love it in BFA. It's a lot better um, and you get to use some cool talents like Rushing Jade Wind. For PvP, however, you're going to run into a few issues. Two in particular, but that's it. You know, yes, we got reduced stun on our Lake Sweep. Yes, we got, you know less utility but compared to other classes we're still sitting okay um there are just two issues that i've noticed since i've been playing arenas uh, i did an entire queue session with savix on the bfa uh beta and we were queuing twos and there were just two things that i were, was noticing and i'm not sure if we should get into that right now or just save that for the end of the video um but i think we should save that to the end of the video let's just briefly go over what we know now uh, especially since all this stuff is on live and just kind of go over so if you guys were curious on the new changes and you know if you're worried I will you know try to remedy that because I do think that they're gonna be okay and BFA um, granted if we do damage so let's go over the spells first so the main thing is is that Obviously, the Blacko Kick is going to be a huge change in your rotation. So that's probably going to be the first thing that you notice when you play the new class outside of the GCD change, which is something we'll be getting into in a minute, trust me. Blacko Kick makes it to where every time you use it, it reduces the cooldown of Rising Sun Kick and Fist of Fury by one second. Now, you also have to keep in mind that this is going to contend with your mastery. So keep in mind that if you spam Blacko Kick, you're not going to be doing optimal damage because your mastery combo strikes makes it to where you deal a percent more damage depending on how much mastery you have as long as it's not a repeat of a previous ability um mastery combo strikes touch of death kept the um carry my touch of death kept the same thing as the artifact appearance to where or not appearance or artifact trait again i've been awake for a really long time sorry um, to where 10% of the damage de you deal while the ability is active gets applied onto the initial damage of Touch of Death still has stayed the same. Uh, spinning Crane Kick got a nice buff to where it doesn't cost 3 chi anymore, it costs 2, so you can Tiger Palm Spinning Crane Kick, Tiger Palm Spinning Crane Kick. It's going to be a lot better for Mythic Pluses. Um, Rushing Jade Wind is such a fun talent to use. Uh, it kind of pairs into what I'm talking about right now and again uh, I was talking to my buddy again he is a mythic raider and has been playing Windwalker Monk the entire Legion expansion he came to me this morning and he was like yo man Rushing Jade Wind is doing a lot of damage in PvE and mythic pluses so I was like awesome that's great because Rushing Jade Wind is incredibly fun to use because you pop it and you just it just never falls off you just have this permanent green tornado just swirling around you dealing damage I think it's really cool because if you are someone that played Mop Windwalker, you probably miss this spell. I miss this spell. It's a cool spell. And I will be glad as hell to take it over Hit Combo any fucking day of the week, let's be honest. Because Hit Combo is just so boring. It makes your rotation incredibly scripted, which makes it feel not like a monk, class fantasy-wise. To where you know you have to do this 
to keep up your mastery and hit combo. Otherwise, they're going to drop you. You had to do stuff outside the box. Sometimes you'd have to use Crackling Jade Lightning and then wait two seconds just to make sure that you wouldn't dra hit, drop hit combo. It was just stupid. Invokes when is more powerful than hit combo right now. I don't know if it's going to be more powerful when we go into BFA, but as of right now, it is more powerful than hit combo. Rushing Jade Wind is doing a lot of damage in Mythic Pluses. However, I do not know if it's going to be the best talent for threes um, in PvP. Rated, uh, random Battlegrounds, I believe that it is going to trump Invoke. Um, but in terms of threes, I'm not sure. It will definitely depend on the comp that you're running. And again, I haven't really checked out that many other classes, so I don't know too, too much about what's going to be viable with what. Moving on. Uh, let's see here. So, Lake Sweep got, obviously, a nerf. Uh, you can take a talent to make it, you know, last five seconds again, but you'd have to take it over Good Karma or Ring of Peace. Um, Lake Sweep is now a minute cooldown. Stuns for 3 seconds rather than 5. Again, you can take this talent, which will make it a 50 second cooldown. Used to be 45, but it will stun for 5 seconds. I personally think that taking Ring of Peace would be a better option in just so many ways because the ability to have a stun and a knock with the Ring of Peace gives you so much uh, gives you some really cheesy utility and some cool plays that you could do. You could use Ring of Peace to interrupt a cast. You can use Ring of Peace to uh, save a healer. You could use it to peel for yourself. There's a bunch of cool things that you could do with Ring of Peace that you just weren't really able to do as a Windwalker because it wasn't the optimal talent to take. It was always... Um, whatever it's called. I even forgot what the old version was. I'm so tired. Um, Baka Kick stayed the same. Oh, all that stuff stayed the same. The transcendence stay the same. So pretty much a lot of the stuff stayed the same. Um, let's move on to the talents here. I have the Tiger Chiwei Chi Burst stayed the same. In my personal opinion, I think that Chi Burst is going to be making a comeback in BFA, at least for PvP. Uh, 30 tier. Uh, Tiger's Lust, I still think is the best for PvP. I tried experimenting with Cheat Torpedo and Celerity in arenas, and I still think that you need Tiger's Lust in order to you know, really glue yourself to your arena targets. Um, PvE, probably Cheat Torpedo. That's my guess. Um, 45 tier, I believe Fist of the White Tiger is going to be the go-to. You can take Energizing Elixir, but Fist of the White Tiger is like a less expensive Tiger Palm, and it deals damage. So it's always good. And it also helps you with your mastery. So there's always that. I just think it's going to be so much better than Energizing Elixir because it's on a shorter cooldown, does damage, generates chi, and it's like a less energy cost Tiger Palm. It's sort of like our artifact ability, except it doesn't hit as hard, nearly. Um, 60 tier, we already went over that. 75 tier, Inner Strength is definitely going to be the go-to for PvP. Dampen Harm is a terrible, terrible cooldown. Hasn't been good since Mop Season 1 and 2. Um, Diffuse Magic is still not good. The only way this talent's gonna be good is that they bring it back to 90 seconds for, I think it was 9 seconds. They reduce the amount of time that this is active, and they reduce the amount of damage it absorbs. So, they bring it back to the way it was, it'll be great. 90 tier, a combo, we already talked about that. 100 tier, the only thing that's changed is the talent called Spiritual Focus. This cooldown might be beneficial in PvE depending on what type of Azerite gear you can get or depending on how you go about doing your rotation. Again, I haven't done PvE on Windwalker, so I do not know how you are going to, you know, utilize how many times you spam Black Oak Kick to get, you know, whatever. So, I don't know how good that is for PvP. I personally think that Whirling Dragon Punch is definitely going to be the go-to. Um, Serenity is still really good, but I'd only take it for like 2v2s if you're running double DPS because double DPS 2s, you just want to go in there, do as much damage as possible, quick games, either you lose or you win, quick games anyway. So we lost a fuse, every single fucking expansion, they just changed the name, just call it Surging Mist, stop changing the name, it's now Vivify. But it doesn't heal everyone around you like it did with Mistweavers back in Wad. It's just a single single heal. We're just going through all this stuff really fast. 
Uh, Control the Mist is going to be a very, very powerful PvP talent. It's very, very nice. And it actually took me a really long time to get used to. Because you're just not used to having a free heal every 10 seconds that you can just use. And it does some decent healing. It's it's definitely, definitely an upgrade from what we had. However, you have to keep in mind that we lost healing elixirs. Fortifying Brew, I still is... <laughs> I still think it's going to be a go-to and then it leaves you a free tier choice heavy-handed strikes no longer stuns and in my personal opinion is a pretty crappy talent considering that the damage reduction only lasts up for two seconds I just I don't see this being very valuable because you're using Fist of Fury to do damage and if you're using your Fist of Fury it's normally when someone's locked down so there's no real point in taking this talent because it doesn't stun anymore. You could take anything. Like Tiger style, you know, you summon and invokes one for five seconds. You know, you could take fast feet, eminence. Like, you could take anything. Just not heavy-handed strikes. It, it sucks, but you know what? It is what it is. Again, there's really only two things that I noticed when I logged into beta and picked up Windwalker was the only two things that I noticed was the paralysis nerf and the GCD nerf. Now, the paralysis nerf for PvP, it's pretty rough. And if you run twos on Windwalker right now, you'll know what I'm talking about. Or 3v3s. You'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Because, and I guess it's just because we've been so used to having that really short cooldown, interrupt CC, you know, just, it was a disrupting cooldown that was on a short cooldown that was really iconic in the Windwalker's, you know, arsenal for utility, and it's just gone now. It's a three second in cap on a 45 second cooldown, which is pretty ludicrous if you ask me. That's just my personal opinion. I know that paralysis was a really, really annoying cooldown for people to deal with on the opposite team, but it just, it fits the Windwalker, you know, utility arsenal. It's one of the things that I I think should have stayed. Um, the only other thing that I will say, and we're going to be discussing why I find this is an issue, um, and there's a reason why I've saved the cons for last because I wanted to get a little bit more in depth was the GCD change. A lot of classes are not going to feel the effect for the GCD change. However, classes that have evolved, quote unquote, um, to the blizzard meta of we want you to be a setup and burst class, quote unquote, it hurts them especially melees. Now, casters are not going to really feel the GCD change at all. In fact, classes like Warlocks still get the ability to spell lock and use pet commands while they're casting. So, I, I believe. it's I'd have to double check. But I believe they still do, are able to do that. Um, but, let's run this scenario really quick. You're a Windwalker. Your sustain PvP arenas is pretty crappy. Now granted, our sustain has been brought up a little bit uh, going into BFA. Our sustain has definitely been brought up a little bit. But take this into account. You're a class that has evolved into every 45 seconds, I'm going to sweep you, burst you with Strike of the Dirt Lord, or just hit you really hard. And while it was, you know, sweep, rising sidekick, double cheat torpedo. In Mop, you just did consistent damage. But in Wad, it was set up, Leg Sweep, Burst, all in a global. Legion, Leg Sweep, pop your cooldowns, all in a global. Now that everything costs a global, you have a three second stun. And even if you had a five second stun, even if you had a five second stun, let's say you're running Invoke Swen, okay? Let's say you're running Invoke Swen. You have to. Go over, your go over to your target, paralysis him, leg sweep him, wait a global cooldown, 
Pop Invoke Swent, or Pop Touch of Death, way to global cooldown. Pop Serenity or Storm Within Fire, way to global cooldown. Then, Pop Invoke. And by then, they're out of the stun because a global is roughly three seconds long. So, you either have to pop your cooldowns in advance, then go to stun or CC your target, or you have to do it while he's stunned. So, your stun is pretty much used up. It's no longer really a thing. And that's the main issue that I find with Windwalkers. And again, for PvE, it doesn't matter. But for PvP, for PvP, if Blizzard is going to make you into a setup and burst class, like they have been evolving and forcing this down our throat, you know, some people enjoy this playstyle. You guys probably understand my opinion that I just miss the old Windwalkers just consistently doing damage. You get like the old sparring, you're in there, you're reflecting some stuff, you felt like a monk. That's just me. But I feel like a lot of you guys will probably agree with me on this one. Um, that it just doesn't feel right. And I don't know what they can do to fix it. I, I, just, don't, I just don't really have an answer for that. But it's either that you pop all your cooldowns while you're running to your target or you waste a stun to get your cooldowns off. Either way, they're going to get all their defensives off or they're going to CC you no matter what. So how are you going to get your damage out on a target without them completely shutting you down? And that's where all your damage comes from. Is your cooldowns once you ha once you're out of that you have nothing because windwalkers and arenas are probably one of the least sustainable damage Be I'm, not, I'm not saying that we do not have burst we have a fuck ton of burst our burst is fucking crazy but our sustain is terrible now again like I said they brought our sustain up quite a bit going from BFA to the I um, Legion to BFA, can't have a slut. But hopefully you guys understand my point. Now there's gonna be some Azure traits, you know. Some of them are gonna, the, some of them are gonna be for PVP and the PVP gear. You know, some of it's gonna help the defense. Some of it's gonna help with cooldowns. Some of it's gonna do more damage. There's a bunch of cool little, you know, Azurite stacking things that you could probably do. Um, again, that's gonna be for another video because I personally haven't really been able to test it. But, again, I think that Windwalkers are going to be doing alright in BFA. So if you're worried, don't be. The only issues that I found were two. The GCD change and the paralysis. And the paralysis one isn't really that much of an issue. But I'm hoping that you guys will kind of agree with me on how the GCD change just feels weird. I can't really explain it, but if you've played a Windwalker, this expansion, and you, or even on live right now, you'd understand what I'm talking about, hopefully you guys get where I'm coming from. It's just plain weird. Because it's just, it's completely different, and it just doesn't work. Same thing with Enhancement Shamans, same thing with Warriors. That's why they had to completely redesign Fury Warriors was because the GCD change just didn't work with them. I think that monks need kind of an overhaul, but I doubt we're going to get it because we're the least represented class in the entire game. But you know what? We can keep our hopes up. That's going to be it for me. I look forward to seeing you guys on stream. I raged it a little bit earlier because... Everyone got to take advantage of the pre-patch, running broken ass comps, getting their 2.4k in Chan and getting gladiators and all that stuff that I could have been doing, but I had to go to the fucking doctors. And then when I got back, it was hot fixed. So I did talk to a GM. He said that those people are probably going to get their titles slash enchants revoked. If I log into live right now, you'll be able to see that I have a ticket that's unanswered. Um... I mean, to be honest, I hope that's not the case because 
I think that'd be pretty sh it's it's shitty for both ends it's shitty for people like me that didn't get to take advantage of that because I really 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 wanted to because I couldn't find a team at all I tried really hard to find a team but it's it's really shitty for the people because they're like oh hey you know I got this I'm just like we're sorry no you no you don't it's just it's 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 rough it's rough for both parties and, and I don't know what I really don't know what they're gonna do but again that's gonna do it for me I gotta upload this video to YouTube it's long as hell I if you guys stay through this entire video I cannot thank you enough look forward to seeing you on stream I'm probably gonna take a nap because I'm still pissed <laughs> I kind of need to cool off um, before I hit something thinking about it just makes me aggravated anyway uh, Hope to see you guys on stream. Thanks again, and I will see you in the next video or on stream. Peace, guys.